All right, and let's get some real examples of rates. And it falls under the standard of ratios and proportional reasoning. And let's go through it here. And let's say we have um, Andrea. She's biking 24 miles in four hours. So let's pull out the math. 24 miles, and it's a rate. So we're going to look like a fraction with labels on both numerator and divided denominators over four hours. So that little girl is, she's biked 24 miles, and it's taken her four hours. And if she biked at a uh, steady speed, how many miles did she ride in one hour? So they want to know the unit rate. They want to know this here, a denominator, as a one. So to get that to be a one, we're going to divide by four over four. And we really can do that because four over four is really a one. And 24 divided by four is six. Don't forget the labels, miles. And uh, four divided by four is one hour. So there, that's the question. It's answered. How far did she go in one hour? Well, Andrea drove, rode six miles in one hour. Another example would be um, um, we're at a grocery store. And we see uh, it costs $2.00. So it has to have a label, $2 for eight juice boxes. So eight boxes or eight juices. Um, so we want to know how much does it cost if we're only going to buy one. So we want the denominator to be one. So we're going to divide by the denominator of eight over eight. And we can do that because this is really a one. So 2 divided by 8, so $2 divided by 8, that would be 25 cents per, and 8 divided by 8 would be 1 box. So it's going to cost 25 cents for each box, and set it up as a fraction. There you go. Thank you.